place this past summer what has to do with the uh, golden garden spider better known as the argiope spider but you're going to see some great shots of uh, the spider I brought home this female and uh, let loose at my house to enjoy for the summer in our bushes and uh, I'll let you enjoy the story for that and uh, pretty cool day out here in Michigan talk to you soon I brought home just a little treat for myself to enjoy and take a few film pictures of and I thought you might like to uh, join in on the fun. It's uh, an Argiope, uh, or a Golden Garden Spider, as some like to call them. One of my favorites when it comes to the uh, orb weavers, the orb weaver family. And in particular, I like the, I just love the way the yellow and the black of the, uh, of the abdomen uh, stand out, uh, brilliant colors. So let me just uh, show you what I got here from the field, my first Argiope of the season. She's playing quite shy right now, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to bring her out into the sunlight to get a better picture of her yellow uh, abdomen against these uh, beautiful red gladiolas I've uh, taken from the front of the house. See if we can zoom in here on her head area. Have that nice silver gray fuzz on top of their cephalothorax there and always like to look at that gray color. And there's that very distinctive yellow and black coloring on her abdomen. Sometimes the coloration of markings on these uh, golden garden spiders it's almost oriental in nature or one of those psychology pictures like can you see the faces in this yeah, you can kind of see her eyes here at the uh, front part of her head. I'm sorry this is so shaky. And you can see some of those sensitive hairs on her foreleg there that pick up vibrations as well as uh, smells. We'll get a few more shots of her in the setting sun here and then we'll um, let her go in the bushes and hopefully she'll have a web by morning. There you have it. Let's go find a nice spot for her so she can uh, make her web for the night. I'm going to try to put her right down here in my uh, daisies and see if she'll uh, camp out for the night and hopefully make her web here. So let's put her down here and uh, see what happens. We'll check on her later tonight and see if she's uh, weaving a web. Alright, let's see if we can make you a home right over here in the uh, daisy area. Let's see here. 
Let's try right about here. See if you like this spot. There. There's your new home. I think you're pretty color coordinated for it too. Well, we'll see what happens tonight.